Hey everyone, Dan here. Let me show you the new focus stacking feature in Photo Raw 2019. Let's take a look at this series of photos. These are all photographed with a fairly shallow depth of field with the focus changing a little bit with each shot. So you can see on these first few frames, our attention is focused in the foreground. And as I arrow through these photos, you'll see how the focus shifts from the foreground to the middle ground, all the way to the background. And you notice as we move through that, that the subject actually changes size a little bit. That's a natural thing that happens as you change the depth of field or you change your focus point. So what we want to do is we want to create a focus stack where we take all of these photos, we combine it together into one hyper-focused photo. So I'm just going to select all of these guys and click right over here on the focus button. When the focus stacking dialog appears, it's going to automatically take all those photos, it's going to align them together and build the greatest depth of field that it can, the most in focus that it can. Let me give you a quick tour. Down here at the bottom, you'll see all the photos that we started with. In this case, I had 14 photos selected to make up my focus bracket. You'll notice that they're ordered based on their focus distance. Based on the metadata, we can tell where each photo was focused. So they're ordered from the closest focus to the left to the furthest focus over here on the right. In the middle, you'll see a depth of field slider. This is really cool. It actually lets you change what portion of the photo stays in focus. Now, as I mentioned, by default, it's going to pick the maximum to start. You're going to see that the handles are all the way at the end. We're going to create the greatest depth of field that we can based on all the photos. But I can now actually change it. So let's say I only want to have the middle section in focus. I can actually grab these handles and I can bring them in a little bit and it'll actually alter the range that's in focus. So now it's going to defocus the foreground and defocus the background a little bit. It lets me control exactly how much of the scene I want. If I want to have everything in the foreground up through maybe the middle of the chisel, I can make an adjustment like this. And it'll have everything in the foreground in focus and the depth of field will start to fall off about here. Conversely, I could move it all the way to the back, getting everything in the background in focus and adjust it to the middle. And now I have from the middle to the background in focus or hit the max button and you get everything. You get everything from foreground to background in focus as long as you have photos that accommodate that. When you're done, you just hit the save button and it creates a new on photo file. On photos are kind of like our version of a raw file. It contains all of the original raw data in it, all of the tonal range, and you can still apply things like lens correction, exposure, or brightness and contrast adjustments, just like you would to any raw photo, all non-destructively. Thanks for watching.